Hi everybody, this is Joe Torres with Binder TV. I wanted to introduce you to a very nice truck here. Um, I'm going to just start off by telling you this is what I would call the holy grail of pickups. Um, as far as bodies go, this is a Travelette short box. It doesn't get any better than this, folks. This is the perfect easel on which you build a, a beautiful IH product from. So I'd like to introduce the owner. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Ah, my name is Derek Cusimano. I'm from uh, Ida, Michigan. And uh, I just recently, like I said, I've always been a big IH fan. Kind of started out with garden tractors. And uh, I picked up a Scout too that uh, needs a lot of rust repair. And then uh, last August, um, I ended up finding this online and got it from a guy out in Montana. So uh, yeah, so like I say, it, it needed some uh, needed some work and basically like I say, full, full tune up and had to drop the tank and uh, you know, get it all clean and going. And, but if we, if we take a closer look though, what makes this truck very interesting is the originality and the lack of rust. Um, this is incredible considering how sought after these bodies are, um, that this vehicle is relatively rust free. Now you can look at the tailgate, it was used. That is a used tailgate folks. Um, but uh, nevertheless, uh, any other interesting stories behind the previous owner or what um, you anything to do with it? No, I guess the only thing, I, I, uh, I don't have any like documentation, but I'm pretty sure this was originally a Forest Service truck. A Forest Service truck. Yeah, because uh, you kind of make out like at the, oh, you know, right, like, the right. Forest yep. Service badge yep. and there's some sort of markings. Yep. Um, like I say, the, the, the previous owner, um, he got it from um, his neighbor who had it for a number of years. Um, so like you say, it, it's been a Montana truck. Prior to that, the, uh, the line setting ticket said that it was originally delivered to Oregon. But um, other than that... Uh, Interestingly, yeah. the interior is very Spartan. It does have a couple options. It, it has a uh, torque flight. And uh, surprisingly, it has a cigarette lighter, considering how stripped out it is. <laughs> which That's a no-no in the forest. Yeah, so that's the, yeah, I, I don't know, I'm just kind of guessing yeah. there. And, uh, yeah, Mr. Walker. Walker. Yeah, one, one thing I was curious on, Nick, Nick says he's never seen the shoulder straps um, yeah. inside, so I don't, I don't know if that's kind of a, you know, a unique thing or not. There, it is, and the bolt hole was always there. Huh. And interestingly enough, there are some anecdotal stories about that. Now, people online, please don't tell me I'm crazy and I'm making up stories. I have been known to do that. I have been told that in some cases, um, fleet customers perhaps installed at the dealer or on their own shoulder harnesses. I don't know if that was for uh, regulation reasons, for personal um, uh, property type reasons, but this is not the first time I've heard a story of a potential original uh, municipal truck, city or government owned truck with seat belts, uh, shoulder straps. So I'd love to know if there was uh, backup evidence to say that that was indeed a uh, special order item through a dealer. She's straight. This is a straight truck. Focus. And you know, this has the coil front suspension yes. that Navistar, at least a few years ago, was keeping the patent up on. Why do you think time? they were doing that? <laughs> Why? Why would they do that, you think? Future usage. But it draw, I imagine it draw, ri drives and rides nice. They probably had a breakthrough kinda, type of technology yeah. that they wanted to protect. It just, um, it just bolts. I just knew right. I knew um, anyway, thank you. Again, this, this truck is exquisite in, in the type of pre uh, vehicle it is. Um, you do not come across vehicles like this very often. And when you do, and it's up for sale, uh, people get... Um, You're lucky to have this. Office. It's a nice truck. If you have a kid that has to go to college one day, my guess is that you'll get good money from this vehicle. If he ever sells it. If yeah. you ever sell it. A big IH customers, <laughs> IH people tend to not want to sell their vehicles, uh, including myself. So, thank you very much for sharing this truck. It's a great vehicle. Uh, thanks for bringing it out with us today. Yeah, thank you. Bye.